Back then, only the mainframe people could generate, process, transmit, and store data. Data was scarce and expensive. Now, you, if you substitute data for energy, you can say exactly the same thing about energy today as uh, data back then. And then we got all these transformational technologies, the PC, the internet, and the cell phone. And these technologies absolutely flipped the architecture of data from one that was top heavy and centralized and whatnot to one, the, the one that we have today, which is that anybody and everybody can generate, use, transmit, and sell data. Anybody. Anybody with a cell phone, anybody with a PC. And this was not conceivable 30 years ago. So in fact, data today is democratic in a way that it didn't used to be only 30 years ago. Um, and it's plentiful. And it's basically free. It's so free, we don't know what to do with it. We buy software to keep data away from us, right? So today in energy, 2010 in energy, is equal to 1980 in data. Today, we are going to transform the way that energy is produced, stored, transmitted, and used. The same way, so there are technologies for all these things, uh, uh, generation and storage and transmission and usage and whatnot, that are changing the world of energy. There is a company in New Zealand, a former student of mine, that basically anybody can sell electricity and anybody can buy electricity from any vendor that they choose at any time. You're not confined to the one electricity vendor, to the one utility. Think about that for a second. Does that remind you of something? eBay for electricity, it's already there. iTunes, maybe, it's already there. Has to be fine-tuned, no pun intended, but, but it's already happening. Um, and energy changes everything, not just energy. What happens in energy does not stay in energy. Everything will change because this is just massive industry that affects everything. Um, so these are the uh, qualities of energy in the new architecture of energy. It's going to be distributed. It's going to be scalable. It's going to be democratic. It's going to be embedded. It's going to be clean. And it's going to be free. So in 30, 40 years, energy will be cheap if this new architecture of energy is going to flip the way that the data world flipped.